Welcome to the much requested tutorial on making a classic veil. The basic veil has two layers. The short layer, which is flipped forward during the ceremony, covering the face and shoulders. This layer is called the veil. And the second, long layer, which falls freely at the back. In classic versions, the length of this layer can be up to hip level, the short option, floor length, the basic option, and a veil that transitions into a train, which can be of any length. In the classic version, the veil has a length of 60 to 80 centimeters, 23.6 to 31.5 inches. Measure the length of the back layer from the attachment point of the veil on the head to the desired length, to the hip line, to the hemline of the dress skirt, or to the end of the train. Leave the measuring tape hanging freely down the back, just as the veil fabric will fall. Keep in mind, for a full dress, this measurement should be taken either in the dress itself or in a petticoat with the same volume as the bride's dress skirt. For example, I will take the following measurements. Length of the short layer, 75 centimeters, 29.5 inches, Length of the long layer, 175 centimeters, 68.9 inches. To calculate the length of fabric needed for this veil, add these measurements together. 75 plus 175 equals 250 centimeters, 98.4 inches. Cut a tool fabric piece 2.5 meters, 98.4 inches long, with a width of 150 centimeters, 59 inches. Round the corners of this rectangular piece. For the classic style of the veil, cut the corners in a circle with a radius of 75 centimeters, 29.5 inches. 75 centimeters is half the width of the fabric. Fold the rectangle in four times, first in half widthwise, then in half lengthwise. Draw a circle with a radius of 75 centimeters, 29.5 inches, and cut along it. You will get an oval shape with two short sides forming semicircles and the long sides remaining straight. Create markings for the assembly point where the comb or any other attachment for the veil to the head will be attached later. Measure 75 centimeters, 29.5 inches, from the edge for the length of the short layer of the veil in this case. Measure 60 centimeters, 23.6 inches from both sides. Draw a straight line. The length of this line will be 30 centimeters, 11.8 inches. 150 minus 120 equals 30 centimeters, 11.8 inches. This will be the assembly line. At this stage, begin decorating. Choose lightweight accessories and lace so that the tool doesn't sag under the weight of beads and rhinestones. If you plan to scatter rhinestones across the fabric of the veil, duplicate them on both sides of the front short layer on the veil by sticking them through the fabric. Otherwise, during the ceremony when the layer is thrown over the face, rhinestones attached on one side will look like black spots. After finishing the decoration, prepare a place for the comb. Fold the material in half along the marked line. Pay attention to the accuracy of the markings, as it is along this line that the veil will be folded and the stitching for assembly will be done. While folding the fabric along the marked line, make sure the long part of the veil is facing up. In this case, the lace on the veil will be on the reverse side. Therefore, for decorating the veil, it's advisable to choose reversible lace or do additional decoration on the back side, such as embroidery or rhinestoning. Sew a double machine stitch along the marked line. Set the machine stitch length to the maximum to make it easier to gather the fabric on the thread later. 
I will sew the first stitch along the fold and the second parallel stitch at the width of the presser foot. Leave thread ends on both sides of the stitched line for gathering. Now, gather the fabric to the size of the attachment for the veil. For example, to the comb's width. Secure the thread ends on one side of the stitches, making a few loops around the pinned pin at the marked starting point of the assembly line. Simultaneously pulling both threads from the other ends of the stitches, arrange the gathering and secure the thread ends on the second side to fix it. Check once again if the length of the gathering matches the comb or the attachment you will use. After this, reduce the machine step to 2.5 millimeters and sew a securing stitch to fix the gathering. Sew this stitch as close to the fabric fold as possible. Remove the pins and get rid of all unnecessary threads and knots, including the gathering threads. Now it's time to sew on the comb. It should be positioned on the side of the long layer, as this is how the veil will be attached to the hairstyle. I want to mention that there are various types of attachments for veils. In my case, it's a comb with a special slot where I should insert the edge of the gathering and then sew the comb on with hand stitches. In this way, the comb is securely attached and the gathering is hidden under its edge. After making the final stitch, secure the thread. You can further embellish the comb with beads, rhinestones, lace appliques, or any other decoration. Just remember that if the veil will be thrown over the bride's face, this decoration should not hinder flipping the veil over the face and shoulders. In this case, I recommend keeping the decoration on the comb minimal. A multi-layered veil is sewn using the same principle. Prepare pieces consisting of two layers of different lengths. Both pieces are folded along the fold line and gathered together at a common gathering point under the comb. There are numerous styles and variations of veils. Let me share a few techniques that can alter the classic look of the veil. By cutting a circle at the attachment point of the comb, you can lengthen the side edges of the front layer that fall on the shoulders, creating a fuller veil. To achieve a triangular shape, rotate the square by 90 degrees and fold the fabric at the attachment point of the comb. As you can see, it is actually very easy to make this essential accessory. See you in the next tutorials!